guys welcome back to my channel I hope you've all been well so today I'm showing you how to get this look uh, this is my pretty much my go-to makeup whether it's for work whether it's for going out every day this is my makeup routine these are my trusted products my foundation my base the glow the lips it's all here everything is going to be linked down below so if you want to see how to get this look please keep on watching Today we're going to be doing my go-to makeup. I haven't, as you guys know, I kind of touched on it a little bit, but I'm not really on here that often. Um, I've completely changed my style of makeup. I feel like I'm really embracing the natural, pretty, fresh makeup instead of like the cut crease, cat eyes, huge eyelashes makeup. And while I do love full glam, that's just not my reality right now. It's not going to happen for me. So I really um, adapted the British style makeup, I call it. You know, the really natural, pretty, like Estee Lalonde, Tanya Burr, really just classic, pretty European makeup, which I feel like is different to American makeup. So I'm going to go ahead and start this off. I've curled my lashes. Um, to start off, I'm going to go in with the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. I was using my um, Naturey Skin Conditioning Gel, which is a Japanese moisturizer. But I recently ran out and I still had half a bottle of this laying around, so I was like, let's just finish this off. So I went to Florida for two weeks. My parents just recently bought a house in Pensacola, so they moved themselves from Oregon to Florida. And they're both like, my mom just turned 50 like last week, so that's why I was down there. But, you know, my dad's in his 60s and mom's in her 50s, and... My dad has health issues, so the cold was, like, really hard for him and his bones. And so they've been talking about moving to somewhere tropical, literally, for, like, six years. And I was like, whatever, you guys are just going to stay in Oregon. Yeah, it must be nice to talk about it and do nothing. And then drove to Florida, found a house. Uh, wait, dro drove to Florida, didn't find a house, drove back to Oregon, found a house online, bought the house without even stepping foot in it and it's absolutely beautiful and my mom's done such a good job decorating it so I was there for the first time me and Mariah went for two weeks now I'm back I just got back yesterday this is the fresh fresh glow instant illuminizer and this is in shade sunset so it's just like a sheer illuminating cream and I have another one of these that's in like the pearl shade but I'll just show you this guy only you only need a little bit and it's a beautiful like pink oops it's a beautiful pink rose gold and you'll see when I put it on my face it actually really does have some sheen so I just kind of keep it out here and you guys know I'm not the biggest fan of primers like I don't know if I necessarily believe in them to minimize my pores and whatnot and honestly since I've gone keto my skin this is new this is new in my life I've having skin like this if you look back on <laughs> ah, my makeup videos before I went keto, I was so red and I had so much acne. But um, this is as good as my skin's ever looked and I do chalk it all up to keto. Keto is just the word of the year. Also my nails, I bit my nails my entire life you guys to the point where it was self mutilation. I was bleeding, they were very painful but I just kept doing it. And since I started practicing control over keto, I've been able to grow my nails out and I get manicures now, like... For my foundation, past few months, I picked this up in March and I have used it every time I wear makeup since. And I usually mix it with my Maybelline Matte and Poreless. Usually Maybelline Matte and Poreless, I am in shade 120 Classic Ivory. I'm around an NC20 in MAC and I find that Classic Ivory works for me in most drugstore shades. So today I'm going to be using 128 Warm Beige and I hope I can pull it off. Remember you have to match your foundation shade to the rest of your body and I'm a little bit golden, golden, but I am going to mix them together just because I love the luminosity of the NARS. So there's the two on the back of my hand. You can see they have a little bit of different undertones, but I hope mixed together they'll be okay. I'm just going to dot this all over. That looks fine. Ooh. So yeah, I was stressing out. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I'll put up my Instagram handle right here. 
but I was stressing out about going to Florida with Mariah because it's I've traveled with her when she was like six months old and still on the boob and she was so easy to travel with but now that she walks and talks and is her own person I was stressing out I'm just gonna use my elf um, foundation brush I was freaking out and honestly on the way there she was a nightmare and it was because we left like at noon so she still had her whole day ahead of her and so all she wanted to do was play it wasn't nap time it was just insane and the person with this screaming child on the plane was me I was that person on the way to Florida so honestly I don't even remember getting to Florida and <laughs> picking up my luggage because I was in such a haze. I hadn't slept at all for the flight. I had been up 22 hours. I was I was done. I'm going to use a little bit more. I could probably get away with what I'm what I have on my face now, but I am going to use a little bit more just because like I do see that some foundation is just like resting on my face and I want it to soak in and I'm going to help it out a little bit. So Maybelline Matte and Poreless is definitely one of my favorite drugstore foundations. It keeps you matte, but it's not harsh on the skin, whereas some matte foundations, it's just not pretty because it's so drying. This one is so forgiving, but it still does what it's supposed to do. And their shade, shade range is awesome. I recently, like today, just got a new, you know, like a new face trimmer. Or I guess it could be used for the bikini as well, but it's just like the little razor mechanical thing where you can shave your face and all like your mustache and stuff so I'm looking pretty hairless on my face which I'm happy about okay so there's my base super easy and fast of course when I'm not talking that takes like two minutes for my concealer I'm gonna use my makeup revolution conceal and define concealer this is a British brand but you can get it at Ulta and I'm in shade C3 so I'm just going to put a little bit. I don't really go that heavy or compared to what I used to. And down here. And here. Uh, that's it. And I'm going to blend that out with my ring finger. Also new, but it's because I don't have a beauty sponge that's clean. And I like all the control I have with my finger and it just melts in better. But yeah, make sure that your hands are clean. Don't come for me. If you don't want to do this, you don't have to use your finger. You can use a sponge. But just for me, I can get in these crevices so easily. And the heat of my hands makes the concealer melt in. And then I can get all up under my eye. Just really controlled. And I like that. There was a few times in Florida where I did my makeup without highlighting. And I just noticed how flat my face looks, so now like I'm really recognizing how much I love this step and what it really does for your face. Probably should have moisturized last night instead of just going straight to bed. I'm kind of paying for that now, but it's okay. And then I'll just grab my brush and just go around the edges. And I'm not even like swiping, I'm really just pressing to make sure that we're all set. Dunsies, I'm going to set my under eyes with my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in shade 05 Fair. And I'm just going to use a dry beauty sponge just because I like the shape of this. So when I'm getting ready for work, I do this whole process before when I just did full glam and eyeshadow and fake lashes and stuff. No joke, you guys. It took me like two hours to get ready. But now, doing my makeup and hair, I can be out the door in 30 minutes. And this is still, still like a full, pretty glam routine. So my brows are coming along nicely. I'm going to use my Tanya Burr Selfie Sculpt Brow Pencil. I also recommend the Maybelline Define and Fill Brow Pencil. That's really nice as well. But I'm just going to use this sparsely in the beginning of my eyebrow and to round out the tail. And 
and that's about it. Uh, so easy. You guys know I've also never had my brows like waxed or threaded before. I've always tweezed them myself. Just for like financial reasons. I just, I don't want another like upkeep bill like that. I actually just got like my first pedicure and manicure in the States like a week ago. And it's also been like a year since I've done that as well. Just because I can easily paint my nails at home, but I do think for like maintenance, like the manicure she gave me in the States is what I needed for shaping. And same with my pedicure, I needed it, I needed the structure and something to maintain. But once you have the structure, it's so easy to just maintain it yourself until you really need to have it reshaped. I'm going to wipe off all this powder. And I'm going to put it right here just so it helps my bronzer blend easier. So just like any excess powder I have on my brush, I'm just going to take it over, over here. Just so when I blend my bronzer, it's not going to cling on to any foundation that hasn't set all the way. For my cheeks, I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I've been a bronzer queen lately. I'm all about it. I'm going to do up here. And this bronzer is like pretty neutral, so if you want something quite warm, this is not the guy for you. Sorry, my camera cut out, but honestly, before I used to do the shape of a three, but now I basically do my whole face just so it looks more uniform and it's just not like obvious that I have bronzer right here and here. I'm kind of dusting it everywhere now. So we're starting up here, but I am bringing it between my eyebrows and I am pushing it into my hairline. Then we're going to come down to the cheeks. I'm going to angle the brush so I don't get too low and I just stay right on the tops of my cheekbones. And then once I don't have a lot of product on my brush, then I'm going to bring it over to my nose and I kind of just sweep this whole area underneath my eye super lightly. Then I'm just going to bring it onto my nose haphazardly like it's not really that big of a deal for me right now and then I even bring it on down here just so everything flows girl just don't hug anyone in white there's not a lot of bronzer left on my brush I'm just gonna over like my whole face now even the high points just because I don't want anything looking I don't know I just don't want white bronze I just want it to be like a natural flow throughout my face if that makes sense and if I want a little bit more color this is the bourgeois bronzer um in five two now this one's a lot more rich so I'll just top over my real bronze areas with this one Cool. Done. Okay, now, this is the most important part. This glow. I'm telling you guys, if you... This is the best highlighter I've ever used in my life. It's blinding, it's silky, it melts into the skin, and it's perfect for any complexion. This is Ofra's Rodeo Drive. It's just flawless. It is. It honestly will bring this alive so I'm gonna go ahead and take this what's up mm. so I'm gonna keep it the placement right here and I'm not gonna dip into any more products then I'm gonna smile wrap it around my cheeks and then I'm gonna go back up and I'm gonna diffuse it I'm going to dip in again, and then I'm going to hit it again. Glorious. It's so beautiful. And it's not, like, obnoxious either. I feel like it looks really pretty. I mean, it may be a little obnoxious, but in a pretty way.
I'm going to take some with the tip of the brush and do the center of my nose. And then I'm going to stop and then I'm going to do the tip. Then I'm going to put it on top of the arch of my brow. But make sure you blend it. Go like that. Give me a glossy forehead. Glossy bronzed forehead. As you can see, it literally melts into the skin. And it looks like you're like dewy, a little bit sweaty, but in a sexy way. And then I'm going to do my chin. And my cupid's bow. That has no hair on it because I shaved my face earlier. Okay, so I filled in my brows a little bit more on the outside because I kind of swept over them too much. And then to add an additional layer of extra to this highlight, I'm going to go in with the Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess 01 Heat Wave. This is last summer's heat wave, I believe. And I'm just going to use this to top off my highlight because a natural, pretty, glowy look for me is all about highlight and skin. So the difference between this one, if you had to choose either one, I would go with the Ofra in a second. However, this one does have a glittery finish and a more deeper gold. So I just think to top it over Ofra's is beautiful. So I'm just going to go right here. As you can see, it is more glitter than the really fine sheen of Ofra's. And it's a lot more true gold. I think highlight is like the new foundation. <laughs> For my cheeks, I'm going to go in with something really natural and bronzy. This is MAC Sunbask. As you can see, it's just a warm apricot um, brown shade. So I'm going to take that on my MAC 135. And I'm just going to put that in between my highlights and my bronzer in a sweet spot right there. Kind of over my highlight too to blend it all in. And then I can even take it up here. I'm going to take it into my hairline. Once I get a lot of the product off the brush, then I will put it on my nose. And kind of sweep it right under the eye as well. Okay, so this is the Milani Make It Last setting spray. As you can see, <laughs> it's empty. I tried looking for a replacement of this in Target and Walmart when I was there. I'm going to see if there's a little bit left. Hmm. Oh, now it's just coming up in big chunks. I feel like my under eyes are a little bright compared to the perimeters of my face. I'm going to bronze up down here while my face is drying. Uh, mascara and then we're done. Okay, you guys, for today's lip, I'm going to do my favorite nude combo. So I'm going to start with MAC Whirl Lip Liner. Okay, you guys, so I am done. I just popped in some earrings, and this is my finished look. I'm happy I dusted that bronzer back underneath my under eye because it really was too intense, and I'm not into that look anymore. I could probably go a couple of shades darker on my under eye concealer. That probably would help. But yeah, this really completes the look. Just natural, pretty, glowing bronze. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I will have all products listed below and a link to them to make it super easy for you. And I will link these earrings as well. I got them from Target and I am, I'm in love with them. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will talk to you soon and thank you for watching. Bye!